the biggest thing to come on and there's no through. Here's the the clownfish. We just got him. He added a nice character to the tank there. We named him Percula. Because he's a Percula, he's a false Percula clown fish. We've got another one back there somewhere, he always hides. And we've got a few. Um, uh, coral, not very many, but they're kind of um, curled up right now because the light was off. And here's the skimmer, it's a hang on the side skimmer. collects this uh, gooey goo goo nasties so far it's been working pretty good but everybody says it sucks what? so it's just got a a pump on the inside the tank right there and it it pumps up into this arm and this arm comes down to here and it forms all these bubbles and supposedly this is supposed to you try to keep as many bubbles as you can out of here the macro bubbles for some reason and then they come up here and the smaller the bubbles are the better because the more stuff they can carry the more bacteria or something and then the bubbles form here and they go up this cone and this is going to be a pain oh my gosh this is not going to work here And then the, let's see, let's see this. Here's the bubbles coming up and they bubble. Just every once in a while it'll like foam over and some stuff comes out. Some bad, nasty smelling, bubbly stuff. I'm gonna come back and put some paneling on here. You know, so it close this all in. And let's see. I've got the I've got a canister filter which has worked good so far. I haven't had any um, toxins or when I first got the tank I had some toxins some nitrates but that's supposed to happen so so far the canister filter has worked good and um, I've got one um, fan in here creates a little current this has worked good for me so far and this is the return tube for the um, oops sorry for the um, filter and I tried to I put a, uh, a highlighter marker cover on there to try to create a more powerful current off of this which kind of helped so I just left it on there and um, right over here is the UV light it, um, it pulls water through the UV light and gets rid of some bacteria somehow and I put a fan here for the time being to try to cool down the the lights because I just haven't
figured out exactly how I'm going to do the the water cooler. So that's done a good job. I keep the temperature at about 81 degrees and so far everything's been good in there. Sometimes at night the temp will drop down to what everybody keeps it at which is like 78 or so. But I keep it pretty warm. Other than that, I just got a unwanted anemone in the tank that I noticed last night and um, it will spread like crazy. I just purchased 20 snails or uh, 10 snails and 10 crabs about four or five days ago so I'm assuming they came on the snails and crabs as a hitchhiker and I've already seen like six or so in the tank and it's only been four days so you know they'll spread like crazy they'll multiply and multiply so I purchased a um, uh, peppermint shrimp today and they're supposed to eat the bad they're supposed to eat those anemones which is good and he, I guess you never see him except for at night so he I as soon as I put him in the tank I haven't seen him since there's Demzel that's a Demzel fish the blue guy in the back he was my first one I just put him in there because he was the cheapest fish I could find and I was sick of spending money on this tank so he's in there I like him he's cool Perky looks a lot better but that's it it's about a hundred pounds of live rock starting to get some pretty cool coloration on it. You can't really tell with the lights but uh, these are purple, some are green, some are still white. So far it's pretty cool.